What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. And this is gonna be my second Halloween edition uh that I've done for this channel. Um and today I'm gonna to be doing um some basically Oreo I'm sorry, some white chocolate covered Oreo type skulls. And what is basically what I'm basically doing is I got some Oreos. I'm gonna be melting some white chocolate morsels, some dark chocolate morsels, dipping the Oreos in white chocolate, and trying to basically put my artistic abilities to the test by drawing some skull type paintings um, with the dark chocolate on the uh, white chocolate shell on the Oreos. So here, you know, I got the white chocolate, dark chocolate morsels, the cookies, some bowls, a spoon. Now you need some um, uh, popsicle sticks and you need double stuffed Oreos. I had neither of those, I had regular and uh, to actually handle them with. Uh, but you'll see why in a second. And I was very unprepared. But you mar I uh, melted the white chocolate morsels down and uh, to get them ready so I can dip the chocolate Oreos. And I needed, like I said, popsicle sticks to kind of handle them with. But I was ill prepared, so I got me some skews or skewers. And uh, that's not really, you know, good to use. So I just used a fork or a spoon or what have you and just kind of dropped them in and moved them around until they were coated. And uh, I got some parchment paper there to drop them on in order to um, let them dry off, cool off, harden up so that I can draw the uh, faces on there. Now, to draw these things, I should have had some type of popping, or I'm sorry, piping, um, thing to kind of draw with uh, for the dark chocolate uh, morsels that I melted but I ended up using a sandwich bag and you're gonna see how that turned out but here I'm just kind of um, uh, getting the, uh, like I said the cookies nice and coated with the white chocolate so I can get them prepared to draw them. Now I did them one by one as you can see, you just kind of laid them out, let them dry. It took a few minutes, it took maybe about, I'd say let them sit for about 30 minutes. But I don't recommend this next step, okay? Well, the next step is actually to melt the, the, the dark chocolate morsels, you know, you just kind of throw that in the microwave. But this next step here, I do not recommend because I don't know how it actually affects anything. But I grabbed the dark chocolate morsels, melted them. And I let it cool off a little bit, put them in the sandwich bag, poked a little hole, pinhole in it in order to <laughs> pipe it out and it, to draw all my skulls on the uh, cookies. And, and here we go. That's, uh, that's what I'm doing here. And uh, I did the best that I could with my limited abilities. And yeah, that's, that's how that went. Don't look too bad though, it didn't come out the worst, but it, it didn't come out the best neither. Now like I said, you, I should have did the uh, piping. Did some better research on this is what I should have done. And here are my results for all of them. Yep. Yep, uh, you, you can see the frustration that I had later on during the later video, but still looks scary in a different way. But all in all, it came out pretty well, um, but that's it for the making process of the cookies. Um, up next is a live review of how it came out. Everybody, thanks for watching. All right, here we go. So, got my... Uh... Halloween dessert here if you will um, Got me some I guess you could call them. They were supposed to be Oreo uh, well, How would I say it? White chocolate covered Oreos with some dark chocolate on it supposed to be skull faces, but You know, it still came out scary So I learned something today apparently my uh, artistic abilities are not up to par for uh, certain things, I guess you could say. But that being said, once again, it is Halloween season, so I made this dessert. And these, uh, these, okay, I would have to say, 
on a rating on how I did and you guys seen the video um, I would have to say it didn't come out the way it was supposed to so I'll take an L and say that it was not a success well I'd say it was a success it just didn't come out the way it was supposed to be but if we're being literal here it didn't come out the way it was supposed to be I'll take an L on that it was not a success it was unsuccessful I'm kind of on a fence but there we go but I can lie and say that hey you know what it still looks creepy my designs here and uh, if you actually look at it since it is Halloween season if you don't really know uh, what, is, what is it called uh, uh, scary stories there are some books out there uh, if you go and look at it there's actually a movie that came out a couple years ago called scary stories the books to it if you look at if you look at the designs in the books of the scary story um, editions or I guess the books, Scary Stories 1, Scary Stories 2, 3, what have you. The illustrations look like this. They look like that. So I can sit here and say that, hey, that's what they're supposed to be. They're not, but I'm going to go with it. But um, all in all, it looks, looks alright. Ended up still being scary. So I'm going to give this a try, see how, see how it goes. So, I actually really like it. I've already made an Oreo, um, I forgot what you call it, uh, Oreo mousse. And this tastes really similar to it. I mean, it's actually really good. It's creamy, tastes like Oreo, but the white chocolate really takes over the top of the sweetness. So, I'm not too, too big on sweets, but the vanilla effect on it is really good. Or the white chocolate effect really it's really creamy but all in all it was good i would say you know design wasn't a success but the taste the flavor the look of it actually really is really cool it was good it was good um it was a good uh good little project there so now aside from the food now i've watched the second movie of the uh, Fear Street which was uh, the 1978 so I'm gonna do a quick little run through with that and what I think about it and uh, I recommend it to uh, anybody that's looking for a movie to watch that you don't really have anything to watch if you're looking for a quick hacker slasher once again it's a hacker slasher movie you know it's a it's a it's a um I would say maybe a basic not a basic I would say it's it's a, a, a pretty much like a typical um, thriller movie, horror thriller. Um, just like part one was in 94, this one is 78. This one here really reminds me of maybe of like a Jason or like a Michael Myers to a certain degree. It, it uh, takes off from part one. So they're going kind of backwards, I guess leading back to what's going on here. Once again, it's got like a supernatural element to it. You'll see it if you happen to watch it. Um, you know, it, 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 it's in 1978, and it's in, it takes place in a camp. That's why it reminds me of a, of a Jason. And uh, you got your typical teenage, uh, I guess, shenanigans. Uh, you'll see in there, you know, obviously it's not going to be, you know, very kid-friendly. You know, it gets pretty graphic. It's got some content to it. Like I said, it got some gruesome scenes. So if you're looking for something that's got some uh, gruesome content to it, and you want some uh, some uh, classic horror stuff in there, you'll get it. But uh, all in all, it's a good movie. Uh, it's got some, uh, you know, it's, it, it can get kind of cheesy, but I think it's meant to be that way. You know, it's got that old school vibe to it. It's got now let me get to the music. It's got the music in there from the 70s, maybe early 80s, but late 70s. It's got bands in there like uh, uh, you'll hear clips of, uh, for example, The Runaways. You'll hear Blue Voice to Cult. You'll hear uh, Kansas and uh, stuff like that. So it really kind of puts you in that setting. And um, 
trying not, I'm trying to kind of talk through it without giving anything away. So, like I said, it is. It's a, it's a good one. It's got supernatural elements to it, stuff like that. So, you gotta look out for that. And um, let me know what you think about my, my dessert here. If you're looking for a, a movie to watch, like I said, that's on Netflix. I'm going to be watching the last one. I'll let you guys know how that one goes. And, uh, yeah, it's been fun. This is the second Halloween edition video of my channel. And, uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Whoever wants to cross this, uh, this video. And, uh, that's it. So, once again, everybody have a happy Halloween. Uh, look out for yourself. Look out for others. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.